Hi there! So today I'm gonna make a very easy and tasty baked sushi. Now let's get started. So today is a feast. I'm gonna feed my whole family with this recipe. I'm so excited when I found this out because now I can I can make it easily because everyone loves sushi in the family including me. So it's either we buy it, we order or we dine in the restaurant. So I have never 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 attempted uh, making sushi because I think it's very complicated and I don't want to learn to do it. So now this one, what I'm doing now is preparing this imitation crab meat. I'm going to pull them into strips. So then I will set this aside. So this is the first part of the cooking. So these guys are ready now. So I just want to make sure that each of the strip has uh, like they have the same size more or less. And the next step is we will add the mayonnaise. Maybe I will make three. Scoops. So can, we can mix this together with the crab, crab meat, and then we will add wasabi. So wasabi is the chili, um, the chili part of, uh, you know, the, the recipe. So, and then a uh, little bit of onions. So, I will mix this together, making sure that nothing will be left behind. So, you know, we will mix it very well so that all the crabs will be covered with mayonnaise. Because this is one of the secret ingredients, the mayonnaise. Once this is done, oh la la, I can really smell the sweetness, the tasty outcome of this recipe. I'm so excited, although this is my first time to do this, but you know, I really can feel the success of my recipe. Okay. Now I think this is ready. So I'm gonna set this aside. So uh, next is I'm gonna make an omelette. So actually, I uh, call this corned egg.
Okay, next I added four cups of sushi uh, rice and in a bowl, and then I added vinegar and sugar. So mix them together very well. So we're almost done with our sushi. So for the rice, you can use uh, regular rice, whatever it is available in your pantry, so in your kitchen, so you can use that. But I saw this rice in the grocery and I was tempted to buy because I really like sushi rice. Seriously, honestly, promise I really love it. So. So now I'm adding it to the baking tray or the pan or the tray, the white tray. So I'm adding rice. The first layer will be the rice. So here you go. So um, you can see the what is this? The crab meat over here already inside the bowl on top of the rice. But I was uh, not able to film the eggs. So after the rice, on top of the rice are the eggs, and then these uh, crab meats on top. So right now I am adding my mayonnaise to get more flavor and more uh, texture and more softness of uh, the, the crab meat. So now I'm adding furikake. So this furikake adds incredible amounts of savory umami flavor to any food it touches. Try it on rice and other plain staple foods such as toast, tofu, and spaghetti. Oh la la, especially this baked sushi. So bake them for 10 minutes at 200 degrees centigrade. 